Hey folks, welcome back to the Lone Pine Tarot. For today's pick a card reading, we have a little bit of an exciting predictive type reading. Of course, as you can see by the topic down below, that is the rest of 2024 from the time you view this video. So today's reading is actually going to be like four mini readings in one. We're going to talk about the rest of September, October, November and December of 2024, but of course you can always view this reading at least up until the end of the year for 2024. So without further ado, let us pick our piles. For pile number ones, we have the musician with inspiration and gratitude and the water element. For pile twos, we have the aspirant, ambition, diligence, setbacks with the fire element. And for my pile number threes, we have the Enchanter with Deception and Trickery and the Air Element. So feel free to meditate on these piles a little bit if you haven't decided which pile calls the most to you. For first timers, I always just recommend go with your first gut instinct. Either way though, whenever you're ready, drop down to the description box below, enter the top pin comment, click on the timestamp there, and I will see you in our discussion about the rest of your 2024. See you then. Hello there, my awesome pile number ones. Welcome to your pick a card reading today on the topic of the rest of 2024. As you recall, the card you used to pick your pile today was a musician with the water element and the keywords inspiration and gratitude. So looks like we have someone playing, I believe that's technically a lute from medieval times with the moon overhead. So whenever we have our pile leaders, typically with oracle cards, we put them over here next to the pine cone. And then like I described in the intro, this reading will be in four different, basically, mini readings. So first we're going to talk about September 2024, or the rest of it, as this video is going up in September 2024. So first we have your oracle cards for this month, and then I'm going to draw five different tarot cards explaining more detail. So spirit team for pile number ones for the rest of September 2024. Could you give me around five cards to explaining the struggles and the triumphs of this month for them, and then three explaining the overall energy, thank you. Okay, there's some there. So we already saw some, let's see, one and two, and then we need three more. I feel like that one back there, and there we go. Okay, pile number ones, so let's unveil your rest of September. So first we'll look at your oracle cards. First from the Sacred Destiny Oracle, we have beautiful relaxation. Gorgeous scene, relaxation. And from the Ask Your Guides Oracle, you received limitation from Nature Spirits. Also the number 44, if that's a synchronicity for you, I just want to mention it. Limitation with nature spirits and relaxation. There we go. Actually, we're going to put that one down here, pile number ones. Okay, and then first we're going to look at what is the challenge of September. So that card was Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands is often about movement or the speed of things. Beautiful. Put the challenges and the triumphs up here. And then the next three cards are about the general feel of the month. So the first one is the Five of Wands, Battle of Wills, maybe Battle of Opinions or Ego. Second is the Moon Reversed, Breaking Illusions. Then we have, well, the two we already kind of saw, spoiler alert, the King of Swords is the last overall month of September card. The King of Swords is often about mastering the element of air, which is communication and uh, logical thinking, intelligence, things like that, or pursuits of that manner. There we go. And then the triumphs of the month, the Ten of Pentacles reversed, which often has to do with legacy or inheritance or financial success related things maybe turning some of those things around. So really quick, talking about your rest of the month of September 2024, pile number ones, okay? We have, yes, relaxation, limitation. Those are your oracle cards. In terms of the overall month, or at least the rest of it. So looking at these three cards down here, we have the Five of Wands, the Moon Reversed, and the King of Swords. That tells me that it seems like the rest of the month of September is... 
Mm, how best to describe it? I think there are a lot of truths being revealed this month for you, pile number ones, and I say that especially because of the moon reverse being the centralized card. The moon reverse, like I said, is about breaking illusions, and I think the truths coming out for you are a lot about the way you think about a group that you're in or in conflicts that you've been having with other people. Not necessarily big fights. I don't see that with the five of wands. That's more the area of the five of swords, but the five of wands is more like battles in terms of fire and in cardomancy fire is like of the willpower of creativity and ego is another really good word to use and so i think because of those illusions being revealed it's almost like things that seemed like they mattered to like fight over are not really like it's going to be revealed that they weren't really battles worth fighting or in terms of like other people involved, like they're going to realize, well, we really don't need to fight about this anymore. We really don't need to struggle about this. Let's coordinate a little bit more. Let's collaborate a little bit more. Okay, things like that. And on top of that too, the King of Swords energy here is the last card of the overall theme of the month of September for you is about the mastery of the mind, logic, and intelligent pursuits. And I think so... Um, the catalyst for breaking through these illusions in these little disputes is the way someone speaks logically, the way someone speaks intelligently, cuts through things with, you know, hard facts and, you know, stay, say, or excuse me, stating the way that things are. You know, that could be you, pile number ones. It could also be someone else involved in these groups that are maybe having some spats. But either way, logic and clear communication wins the day. And let's see. So looking at the the struggle and the triumph for the month of 2024. So, or excuse me, the September 2024. I just said the whole year, but you know what I mean. Is the Eight of Wands is your struggle. Like I said, when I pulled that out, that's about the speed of things. Things being done either too fast or not fast enough. So you might be coming across some frustrations. You know, you might even nod your head as you're watching this. Like, yes, things have been going a little bit too slow in one area of life. Things have been going maybe a little bit too fast as a general reading. Everyone's going to be different. But in general, the struggle is doing with the pace of something in your lives this month. And I see advice here, especially from your oracle cards, to let the universe take over a little bit more and let things happen more with divine timing, especially with relaxation was one card, right, as a piece of advice. We also have limitation as a piece of advice. You can only do so much as you have control over pile number ones. You can't really control the fate's design. I mean, yes, it is a little bit of a collaborative effort between you and the universe, but sometimes, and especially this particular month for you, I'm seeing it as saying, let the universe handle the timing of things. Let them figure out how fast things go along. And you can just kind of relax and let things go to its design a bit more instead of feeling like you need to control everything or that it's your responsibility to control the pace of things, okay? And then your triumphs here with the Ten of Pentacles reversed is the something to do with the like money or inheritance or like financial success. I don't know if you've been having struggles recently with um, legal battles over inheritance or legal battles over like who gets what kind of money or like being paid fairly for things. Sometimes the Ten of Pentacles can also involve like family, uh, especially like this particular depiction is of like a big family, right? So if you've been having struggles recently in this month about family, it seems that by the end of September 2024 here, that is going to be your triumph for at least one of them. The one that Spirit really wants to highlight is the Ten of Pentacles energy regarding finances and potentially money. Whatever struggles you've been having in that area of life are, like, that's the area that's going to kind of see some resolution maybe to more of your liking this month. Okay, before we move on to October, I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything. Yes, so that's... I think that's everything for September 2024. So let's move on to October now. We'll clear the desk for you. As I Like I said in the intro, these are going to be really quick kind of mini readings for each month. I'm trying a new style here. Hopefully, if you like it, let me know in the comments. So we'll put those away. And then we have your next two Oracle cards for October. And then we'll shuffle the tarot deck and pull your cards just as we did before pile number one. Get some quick answers today. So spirit, same thing. What are the, uh, what's the struggle, the overall look of October and the triumphs of October for pile ones? Thank you. 
Okay, we have one. Oh, okay, two, three. <laughs> so there's one, and then that was the second one. Three. And five. There we go. And let's unveil your cards, pile number one. So for October 2024, your mini reading is Sacred Destiny, Potential. Okay. As one piece of advice card here. And then from the Ask Your Guides Oracle, you received Life Force from Joy Guides. We have the number 41, if you're interested in the numerology. There we go. And unveiling your cards here. I'm actually going to move that over here this time for you, pile number ones. So the struggle or the challenge of October is going to be the star. So that's keeping hope or faith in something. And then for the overall theme of October, we have the Ten of Wands reversed. Beautiful. Letting go of burdens. The Four of Swords being at rest. Okay, October's looking pretty good here, pile number ones. Let's see. And then we have the Sun, which is beautiful. That's about happiness and joy. So it seems like a lot of things are going pretty well in October this year for you. And then your triumph is the Seven of Pentacles reversed. That's about planting seeds for the future, preparing for future financial successes. So uh, pile number ones really quick for your October 2024. Overall, great month. We see the Ten of Wands reversed, like I said, is, you know, letting go of burdens or them being taken off of your back. We have rest with the Four of Swords and happiness and joy with the sun. So October is a fantastic time this year for you to, you know, look about maybe things getting a bit less stressful, especially at work or if you've had to shoulder a lot of extra burdens recently in any area of your life. Seems with that Ten of Wands reverse, that's at least part of the theme of that month for you. Also, that being next to the Four of Swords, like I said, is the card of rest. It's going to be a lot more relaxing than previous months, it seems, with those two next to each other. And then, of course, we have the slam dunk here with the sun being the card of happiness and joy. Things just looking a lot brighter, looking a lot happier for you. So October 2024 is a fantastic month for you. I'm seeing pile number once. So I think, too, that is an extension of the theme of relaxation, or at least the advice of relaxation from September we just talked about. Remember, we had that as the Sacred Destiny card for the first month. That is kind of leaning into October here with that Ten of Wands reversed with the Four of Swords. And yeah, it's just leading to a lot more happiness and prosperity for you in the month of October. And then... Looking at your struggles and your triumphs, right? Struggles are the star and the triumph is the seven of pentacles reverse. So the star is all about our hopes and faith in something. You know, that combined with not only life force and potential as your advice cards here, I think if you do have any struggles in October, it's going to be about keeping hope or faith that something is going to work out. You know, it could be that you're potentially starting a new project in October, be it at work or your personal life, and you're kind of doubting the potential of it, and you're like, you know, I'm trying to, especially see with the Life Force card here, it's about like trying to kindle that fire alive, and you're thinking, well, should I keep putting, you know, tinder and, and wood on it, or should I, you know, let it go? Should I let it die? And I'm definitely seeing pile number ones, if that's your concern in October of this year. And you know, especially, too, with the shared symbolism here of the fire with the Seven of Pentacles. But we'll talk about that in a second because that is your triumph card for that month. They're telling you to keep hope or faith in the potential of things because you do have really good forecast here for good luck in the month of October, okay? And like I said, the Seven of Pentacles here is your triumph, or I should say reversed, is your triumph this month. Anything you've been struggling with trying to get off the ground, that's a fantastic month for that being overcome, okay? Because like I said, the Seven of Pentacles reversed is about planting seeds for the future. And especially being reversed, it seems like maybe it has been an issue for you. But being in the triumph position, that will be something that's fixed here. So if you're starting to uh, do new projects soon, or you're, you know, maybe it's a new business, maybe it's a new project at work, maybe it's, you know, insert whatever new ventures you have here. Look for the month of October to be a really, really good month to start really kindling those things, bringing them alive, and then especially believing in their potential. And when you do find yourself coming across that struggle of faith or hope with the star here, because that is your theme for that month of what's, what's the struggle, what's the thing to overcome, Keep your hope and faith in it and remember the positive signs that I told you about here about, you know, <laughs> burns being relieved and rest and especially that sun is a really, really good sign there of happiness and joy, okay? 
Next up, we have the month of November. November is next. So there we go. Let's clear the board. Drawing your oracle cards there, and then let's shuffle the tarot deck again. Spirit guides, spirit team for pile number ones for the month of November 2024. Can you give me five cards explaining the struggle, the triumph, and the overall theme of their month? Thank you. There's one. Two. Three. Make sure everything is orderly. And then we need two more. And actually the back one I felt I was kind of pulling on, so number five. Okay, November 2024, pile number ones. Beautiful. Unveiling your oracle cards we have from Sacred Destiny Release. Also a lovely card to get for November. It is the time of autumn. It's the time of letting things go. There we go. And then the Ask Your Guides Oracle you received is Disruption with number 21. Something being maybe cut short or cutting something off could be a theme. We'll talk about that more as we see what cards came out for you. Once again, I'm actually going to move that over here. There we go. Move the pine cone. Okay. And then looking at the tarot cards, first we have your struggle for November 2024 is okay we have the seven of pentacles reversed again so i did shuffle that you saw that but it is coming out once again from october into november so it seems like you might be i won't get too far in the weeds because we do have to reveal your other cards but i just want to say now before i forget you might be still kind of struggling with think getting those things off the ground in november that you were trying to get off the ground in october because you know things don't happen overnight things aren't you know immediately from you know, you just start it to success in like the snap of your fingers. But um, so that's one theme I, th I see kind of still coming out here. And then your theme for the month with three for cards is the Ten of Pentacles has come up again like it was in September. So that might kind of crop up again with legacy, inheritance, financial success. And then we have the Four of Wands reversed. Something to do with the home or security at home or celebration. We'll talk about that more in a second because next to it you also have the Eight of Swords reversed, which is mentally freeing the mind from its own prison. And then your triumph is the Seven of Swords, which is really interesting. Seven of Swords is often about trickery or deception. At least that's kind of what it is on the tin, but I'll interpret that for you in a second. So I'm just going to take one second break to take a drink, pile number ones, and then I'll tell you about your November 2024. Okay, so looking at the overall vision for November 2024, you have, yes, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands reversed, and the Eight of Swords reversed here. Intuitively, I'm being told, let's see, hmm. Sorry for the pause, I just, I'm getting an intuitive message and I just want to make sure that it comes in here pile number ones correctly. I think there is some struggle with November 2024 with your mind pile number ones. I think there's something regarding fear or limiting yourself. Uh, Self-limiting beliefs is probably a better way to say that, especially because of the Eight of Swords reversed. I think there is some aspect regarding your family and or your home here or celebrations involving the two. Like it could be a housewarming party. Like if you bought a house recently or a new place to live or maybe a family member has something like that. Also in general, self-limiting beliefs regarding your finances with the Ten of Pentacles, meaning like it's the final stage of the pentacles before their court suit, right? Um, so there's going to be some struggles in the area in November 2024. I think you are going to have to break through some self-limiting beliefs. In my personal intuition, because the seven of pentacles reversed came up as your struggle this month, and we also saw that as a triumph last month of October for you, that theme is carrying through from October into November in making sure you believe in your new projects, making sure you believe in the validity of things. Yes, there's still a struggle there and, you know, things aren't immediately fixed. You know, sometimes we have to, it can take months to break through, you know, limiting self-beliefs through mental limitations, right? Pile number one. So 
Just keep an eye out for that in November, that theme kind of going on. But remember, because that is your struggle of this month, keep believing in those new ideas or that new project. Keep planting new seeds for the future, okay? Because it's something that will bring you, you know, the good foundations for lasting financial success or at least something that makes you comfortable in the material world. It doesn't necessarily have to mean money. It could also mean home projects, things like that, or, you know, maybe changing to a better place of where you live, right? Um, either way, something better for you in your environment or in your material world there with the Ten of Pentacles having been part of the theme for November 2024. It's also a month about learning about letting things go. You have not only release as your sacred destiny, but you also have disruption pile number ones. I do see there might be some sort of block in your plans in November 2024. Now, don't run away from the reading and click off just because I said something negative. Just hear me out. But what I'm hearing is, is that when and why they're telling you this is that when that disruption comes up, when that seeming Leave, like a big mountain in your path comes up, keep going with that seven of pentacles reversed. Keep planting the seeds for the future with those new projects and things that you've been working on because it's almost kind of a deceptive thing is what I'm being told. Like you, you think it's going to be like a huge block in your way, but they're telling you just to keep working through it and things will work out just fine. You know, it's kind of that theme too of what we saw in September here for you is about letting the universe kind of work things out and knowing that not everything is in your control pile, number ones, okay? Things like that. And, you know, it's also a good time for letting go of things in general, otherwise outside of your new projects here with that release card. Now, what's interesting to me is the Seven of Swords here. That is your triumph this month for November 2024. And the Seven of Swords, like I said when I pulled it out, is about deception or trickery. And so I feel like there, it could be a twofold message pile number ones. Number one, I think it could mean it's a triumph over the self-deception or trickery of yourself. Like I was talking about those self-limiting beliefs there and freeing yourself from them with the aid of swords. I think maybe you'll finally really fully believe in yourself and this new project or these new things that you've been doing right in this month, even though it's going to be kind of a struggle at first, especially when that potential obstacle comes up, right? But also, it could also mean triumph over deception or trickery of other people in your life or things that are situations that have been deceptive. So just if there's anything where you've been not quite kind of sure about people's intentions or you're not sure about like how something is going to work out, like it almost seems too good to be true leading into November, it seems like you're going to triumph over those seemingly trickstery things, okay? And that is it for November 2024. So let us go to December 2024 to our last mini reading of the day. So we have these here, and then we'll shuffle your five cards pile number ones. Kind of like this new setup. I like the little mini readings. It's kind of getting like four readings in the package of one. So spirit team for pile number ones, could you give me five cards explaining the struggle, the triumph, and the overall theme of December 2024 for my pile ones, thank you. Okay, there's quite a lot of cards that just flipped over. I believe those are three, one, two, three, four, and five. There we go, and let's unveil. So from the Sacred Destiny, we have New Beginnings. Beautiful. It kind of just seems to be an overall rest of 2024 theme for you, pile number ones. A lot about new beginnings and starting new projects. Wonderful. From the Ask Your Guides Oracle, we have Work with Helper Guides. Number 20, if you're interested in the numerology of that feeding the thing and literally this is remember the seven of pentacles kept coming up this is literally like a seven of pentacles card here about planting new seeds and putting effort into new projects beautiful so your struggle for december is going to be the queen of pentacles so that is often about internal security being happy with the things that we have in terms of money and finance and like home things that we own earthly things right then we have the theme is queen of swords okay Internal mastery of logic and communication. The Ten of Swords is the card of being either at the end of something or it could also mean betrayal. Let's just don't run away yet. We'll see. And then the Six of Wands is beautiful. This is the card of victory. So December's looking pretty good too for you, pile number ones. And then your triumph is the Page of Wands reverse that's overcoming, I believe, or triumphing over 
struggles you might have had deciding about what you want to do with a passion. I, I kind of see this as a culmination of this whole theme of the new beginning and starting this new project pile number ones for you in December of 2024. So overall, the theme though is about, let's see, looking at the Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Six of Wands. You know, I see that as I see that as, like I said, it, it, it was what I said before, I'm repeating a little bit, but it's the culmination of the victory over this theme of you finally believing in this project or in yourself or your abilities and your skills in this area that maybe you've been kind of struggling to, you know, not kind of have limiting self-beliefs about. You know, too, with the Queen of Swords, it's like the internal mastery of, like, you've logically thought it through. And I think especially when you start seeing some early success, you're going to start thinking to yourself, okay, maybe I can do this. And that really helps spur you on past what I see as the Ten of Swords can either mean, like I said, feeling like you're at the end of something or like you've been betrayed. I think that's a self-betrayal pile, number ones. I don't see that as a betrayal from somebody else. It's like you overcoming and having victory over you betraying yourself with those self-limiting belief theme that we've had throughout the past two months reading up to this point. However, with the struggle being the Queen of Pentacles, I think maybe you'll still feel maybe a little bit insecure about the money you're making so far with this or like the material success you have with it doesn't necessarily have to be money. It could just be, you know, goal, uh, goals measured in different ways, okay? So that once again is kind of sort of on that theme of limiting self-beliefs where, you know, you might measure your success in terms of well, how much money is it making or, you know, how much praise am I getting, even though technically you might be doing very, very well. It's just that when you put the value of what you're doing on outside sources like that, it's like you're letting go of your control or your own power over your belief in yourself to other things. So, but like I said, culmination this month of December 2024 of overcoming that belief, I think that's going to be like the end arc of okay, I can do this. I believe in myself. I believe in my project. And then two, especially with the page of wands reversed being the outcome or excuse me, the, the triumph, right? Is you finally saying, okay, yes, I might be kind of new at this or yes, I'm still kind of finding my way because the page is the apprentice, right? They're learning. They're a student type energy, but you're overcoming doubts around that area regarding your passions, okay? That's your triumph in the month of December 2024. And then once again, keep focusing on just nose to the grindstone, seven of pentacles energy, keep feeding your plants, so to speak, as a metaphor. You know, keep focusing on that new beginning, that new dawn with this, all these new projects that you've been bringing in and new energies. It could even be, it doesn't necessarily have to literally mean projects pile number ones that we've been talking about so far. It can also mean things in terms of, you know, like a new relationship, or it might be like a new, like I was saying, maybe you move to a new place or just new energy in general. Believe in them, pile number ones. If there's one thing you take away from the rest of 2024 in this reading, believe in the new projects and the new ideas that you have, okay? Because it, I do see a lot of success and triumph over these things and in these areas, even if you don't believe in yourself along the way, you just have to keep going. And that's basically how I would summarize your reading for well, every single month together. So that is what I will leave you with today, my lovely pile number ones. I know the readings were pretty quick. They're just, like I said, four mini readings in one. Thought that would be kind of an interesting format to try. So, you know, as always, I hope the reading was helpful. If it was, if it resonated, please like, comment, and or subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Otherwise, wish you a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you in the next reading pile number ones. Okay, bye. Hello there, my lovely pile number twos. Welcome to your pick a card reading today on the topic of the rest of 2024. As you recall, your pile leader today was the aspirant ambition, diligence, and setbacks with the element of fire. So as always, we set our pile leader to the left here. And like I said in the intro, this reading will be pretty, well, quick, at least in the mini readings. There are four technically readings in one today, focusing on each month of the rest of 2024. So let's take your tarot cards now, spirit team, for pile number two is for the September 2024, or the rest of it at least. Can you explain their struggle, their triumph, and the theme of the month? Thank you. Here we go. Okay. Struggle. Mm -hmm. see one two three four and we need one more so that'll be that one right there and let's unveil your cards pile number two so looking at september 2024 or the rest of it from the time you view this video your ask your guides oracle today was number six caution from guardian angels 
There we go. From Sacred Destiny, you received Embracing. And then looking at your tarot cards today. So we have the struggle. The struggle is the Ace of Swords reverse, something about lacking new ideas in some area, trying to come up with new ideas, but maybe coming up short. Talk about that more in a second. Then the theme we have the star, hope or faith in things. The nine of wands, determination, going through with things, keeping going even when the going gets tough. And we have the Ace of Cups reversed, okay? Maybe not sure how to feel about something, maybe wanting new relationships but struggling in this area. And your triumph for the month of September 2024 is the Seven of Cups reversed, okay? I think that means maybe you finally, if you've been uh, struggling over making a decision recently in September, I think that will come to an end, or at least you'll have made a decision finally having gotten the, in or excuse me, gotten the information that you've been wanting to get to make that final choice, okay? So looking at the rest of 2024, September for you, pile number two, so okay, we have looking at the Star of the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Cups reversed. You know, I don't know if you've been struggling with, say, isolation or loneliness recently, or maybe there's been some relationship where you've been trying to either start a new relationship with somebody or you've been trying to reinvigorate a relationship with someone that you knew before, something in that area. It could be something you've known for a long time or it could be someone that you're just trying to meet now, okay? That could be either platonic or romantic, you know, dating or just for a friend or a family-related thing. But in either case, the theme of September 2024 for you is keeping going on and keeping having hope and faith in this area with relationships, okay? Or could be just one relationship. And I think part of the issue, and this is I say this is because of their struggle being the Ace of Swords reversed, Part of the issue is, is I think you're not sure what to make of it. You're not sure what to think because the Ace of Swords reversed is about lacking ideas or being lacking new information on things. And so you've been maybe a little bit hesitant here. I think that's maybe why caution has come out was uh, from this Ask Your Guides Oracle. You're like, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm lacking information. Should I really go forward with this idea I have with this relationship or this new feeling I have about something? And your advice for this month, okay, at least the rest of it, is, well, not only are you going to get the information you're looking for to make that final choice or what you need to move forward with this idea with relationship, right? <clears throat> because of the Seven of Cups reversed being, it's your triumph card for this month. It's about you've overcome, you know, not being able to decide over something. So that tells me you receive the information you need to go forward in this area by the end of the month, okay? And then also embracing. I think that is a piece of advice to you, pile number two, is to really embrace the unknown, embrace that sometimes in relationships, we're not always going to have all the information we need to feel comfortable, to be vulnerable, to go forward with things and move things to the next stage, or even just opening ourselves up to other people. Maybe it's just been an isolation issue in general. And so you're like, you know, I don't know. I've been having so much caution. I'm not sure what to do. Embrace change, embrace newness in terms of relationships and letting people in. Just, you know, Try meeting new people if that is has been the issue for you, pile number two, is, okay, like isolation. Have hope and faith that you have what it takes to spark new relationships, okay, and to spark new energy in even current relationships or friendships maybe you felt have kind of died off a bit. And that is your theme for the rest of September 2024 is, yes, like I said, overcoming the feeling like I lack ideas in this area. I'm not sure if I have all the information I need to go forward. Go forward anyways, Okay. And you'll find the information you need along the way. Now, going on to October 2024, like I said, these readings are going to be kind of lightning fast. <laughs> we'll go to the next two and clear the board. So, Spirit Guides, Spirit Team for pile number two is for October 2024. Can you give me the same reading? or at least in terms of the spread. We have struggle, a triumph, and then the overall theme. We'll move the rock there, there we go. Thank you. Five cards, please, thank you. There's one. That'll be your struggle, okay. 
to three and five. Okay, unveiling your cards for October 2024, we have Ask Your Guides, Shadow number 31 from Healer Guides. Shadow, maybe working through some tougher stuff in October 2024. We'll get to that in a second. From Sacred Destiny, you received protection. We have the Oak Tree. Beautiful. For your struggle for 2024 October, we have the Three of Pentacles, which is teamwork. Okay, so maybe some struggles regarding other people and them not getting, you know, working alongside you very well or vice versa, things like that. Your theme for October 2024 is the Nine of Pentacles, which is receiving the fruits of your labor. Beautiful. We have the Five of Pentacles, which is hardship or poverty. Now, don't run away from the reading yet. I know sometimes I see the statistics. Sometimes you guys click off immediately when I say anything negative. I watch you, so I know. Just wait. Let, let, me, let me get my point out, okay? And then the third card for the theme is the Five of Wands reversed, which is overcoming conflicts of opinion, overcoming conflicts of ego. And your triumph this month is the Four of Wands. I'm sorry I had that different before. This is your triumph, not your struggle, the Four of Wands. Your struggle is the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so pile number two is for October 2024. Your theme here is, I think, working through some hardships regarding uh, differences of opinion with other people. But the beauty is, is that I see, especially with that Nine of Pentacles reversed, the hard work you'll have been doing to overcome the hardship with conflicts of opinion will bring fruits from your effort, fruits of your labor. That's why I think your struggle for October is the Three of Pentacles. That's the card of teamwork and working along with other people, especially in a work setting, but it doesn't necessarily have to be what you do for a job. Um, whoever you're working with on a goal together in October 2024. So you might see some struggles in that area, but like I said, I do see a lot of triumph with not only the Nine of Pentacles, like I said, overcoming these issues right here with the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands reversed, right? That also co crops up in your Triumph card with the Four of Wands, which sometimes can mean marriage, sometimes it can mean happiness in the home, but I think in this particular situation, I'll interpret it as general celebration, general people getting along, okay? So if you're finding in October 2024 that there are some people who maybe at the beginning of the month are kind of working against you or they're not working along with you very well, maybe there's conflicts of opinion especially seem to be the main issue here with the Five of Wands reversed that is creating some hardship to, you know, just see it through. Just keep doing your job, minding your own, you know, your circus, your monkeys, right? And I think things will work out just fine if you should, you know, choose to continue working with these people as difficult as they are. And I say that because normally I don't want to encourage you to, you know, keep working with difficult people pile number two is, but I think the beauty of this here is that I think it's people who don't necessarily, like, they're not going to be set in their opinion all the way through. There are people that are willing to change their opinions and there are people that are willing to compromise. It's just there's a little bit of a barrier to, to a barrier to break through before you get to that point with them. So just be willing to work a little bit harder through other people's conflicting opinions in October, and I think you'll see a lot of fruits of your labor, so that's a lot of success here with the Nine of Pentacles, right? And then especially with the triumph being the Four of Wands, which is cause for celebration and people, you know, getting along, happiness in the home specifically, okay? Things being stable and balanced, right? Now, the advice in this month, too, is, like we said, shadow and protection. So not only is that advice from your spirit guides, this particular card of protection means that they're going to be very so much a lot closer to you this month, I think, over watching what's going on here with these conflicts, and they're going to try to encourage you and help you to get through because they know how frustrating maybe it can be sometimes for, you know, when people aren't working along with you, they're not collaborating with you. They're just trying to be an obstacle in your path. Yeah, that's kind of a pain in the butt. And so they're going to be close to you that month and just saying, hey, we have your back. Hey, you know, if you want to reach out to us, I always recommend, uh, you know, meditation, maybe automatic writing, things like that to help them, you know, connect with you to give you advice in this area too. With shadow, that tells me that part of this 
conflict, part of this issue that you're overcoming in October 2024 is about working through things from your past that haven't been worked through yet and working through your shadow self. So maybe you might even see some of your own flaws reflected in the people that you've been having conflict with in October and working through it with them will help you work through it yourself. It's just a little bit of shadow work, right? Um, Two, if you found that in the past a lot, you've come across conflicts with you know, people just getting along or working with you, collaborating with you, this seems to be a good step in the right direction in making progress on this particular life lesson with Shadow having come up here for you in the month of October 2024, okay? Now, let us move to November 2024, okay? Clearing the board again. Like I said, these readings are moving lightning quick today because we're going through every single month for the rest of the year. There we go. And then your tarot cards. Same thing. Let's shuffle. Also, I do apologize if you hear animal noises in the background of my video. Um, speaking of conflicts, I have a pair of raccoons in my neighborhood that keep fighting over the grapes in our yard. So I apologize if you hear like raccoons chittering. <laughs> uh, maybe it'll add some humor to your day pile number twos. But unfortunately, I can't tell the raccoons to not fight over grapes during our recording. So, <laughs> all right, spirit team for pile number two is their November 2024. Five cards, please. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know why. All of a sudden, recently, the raccoons have been fighting in our yard over things. So, Let's see, one, two, three, four, and then we need number five. There we go. Okay, your struggle in October 20, excuse me, November 2024, not October, November, is the Six of Cups reversed. Okay, maybe some negative things from the past. Your theme for October, no, I'm sorry, November. I keep saying October for some reason. Maybe that's a sign that maybe some things from October will kind of weave into November. Okay. Theme of November 2024, let's see, the Queen of Pentacles reversed is about maybe lacking internal security about something. We'll talk about that in a second. We have the Four of Cups reversed, finally noticing or paying attention to something, something brought to your attention. And then we have the Five of Wands reversed comes up again. So yeah, like I was saying, I was like, you know, I wonder why I keep saying October. You have the Five of Wands reversed again. That seems like maybe the theme of like the life lesson about overcoming conflicts and lack of teamwork. Things are moving from October into November. It's more of an extension of that particular theme going into both months here because, you know, in life, things don't immediately get resolved in, you know, month by month. You know, sometimes things carry over. So, and then looking at your triumph in November, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, she's the master of the heart. She is the, someone who's emotionally secure about things. Okay, so we'll reveal your oracle cards as well of advice. So let's see, from Ask Your Guides, we have Loss, number 29. There we go. And we have from Sacred Destiny, Love. Beautiful. So, pile twos for November. See, I didn't mix it up that time. November 2024. The overall theme with the three cards down here, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, Four of Cups reversed, and the Five of Wands reversed. We have that theme of conflicts kind of coming over from October into November of this year for you. However, I do see a lot more of like the final tying of the strings of resolution here for you. Like... I think the main thing will be overcome with this teamwork issue in October, but I believe there's might be some still kind of lingering effects or lingering little conflicts or disagreements that you'll have to kind of tie up in November. So it's things extending from one month into the other. Now, the next theme that kind of comes up in November here, after that's resolved, we have not only the struggle of the past with the Six of Cups reversed, like negative things from the past, right? Maybe some, it could be a conflict with like a sibling. Sometimes that's what the Six of Cups means. It can also mean something to do with the past in general, right? That might be also an extension of the shadow work we talked about in October. Um, Specifically regarding with the Queen of Coins reversed and the Four of Cups reversed, paying attention to what makes you feel materially insecure. I don't know if you grew up with a hard childhood of like a lack of money or something like that or not having everything you needed as a child. Maybe that's why the past is really coming up here with the Six of Cups reversed. But um, I think that's what you're going to be working through a lot of in November 2024. 
you know, it could even be maybe there's a disagreement with a sibling over, hence that five of wands cropping up again with the six of cups reversed over how things were materially in your childhood. Could maybe argument with a parent too, like, hey, you know, I have this thing I was working through and I realized there was something from my childhood that kind of affected me. Let's talk about it. And maybe there's a little bit of a struggle there because, you know, when hard things are brought up, sometimes, you know, the other party is not so willing to talk about them. But it seems like a very healing month for you, pile number two for November 2024, okay? Um, less less raccoon fights, <laughs> connecting it to the sounds we heard outside. I don't know if you heard it on the mic, but yes. Less raccoon fights, less, less conflicts, but a little bit lingering over into um, maybe some around healing work, but ultimately overcoming them, right? And I think that's where that loss comes in. I think that's there's something to do with your past where there was a loss and that's what you're healing from in November 2024. Like I said, I think revolving around material insecurity and finally realizing with that four of cups reversed, hey, wait a minute, there, there was something there that I didn't notice before that maybe affected me in my adulthood from childhood that I didn't recognize before. Maybe you're going through therapy right now and that's something that's brought up then or maybe it's just something you notice. Sometimes it just pops up even without therapy. And you're working through that and I think also coming to a place of not just love, because of this card, like it says on the tin love, but you also have the Queen of Cups as your triumph for November 2024. And your triumph with that card tells me the mastery of the heart being secure in oneself and your emotions. Okay, so it's turning that Queen of Pentacles reversed into that Queen of Cups upright of, you know, the inciting incident is material insecurity with like money or finances or like the earthly things around us. Maybe that's what starts that conversation about your childhood, right? But then in the end, the triumph is you realizing or coming to a part of yourself that you, it's, it's like being emotionally secure with what happened in that past, okay? So it seems like a really, really quick turnaround there from something that maybe was bothering before a loss of some sort and coming to a place of love. It could also even strengthen relationships with you and your siblings or other family members that are involved in whatever this topic is about, right? The conflict... It could also be coming to a place of more self-love, right? With that Queen of Cups, especially with love having come out by itself, right? Okay, so that is November 2024 for you. And now we're going to talk about the last month, the last mini reading, December 2024. There we go. And thankfully, it sounds like the raccoons have seized their great fighting. So <laughs> let's shuffle the cards. Beautiful. And your last oracle cards, we'll talk about those in a second. So Spirit Team for December 2024. Struggle, Triumph, and the theme. Thank you. Pile twos. There you go. Okay, well that's four cards, I think. Yes. One, two, and these can came out sideways. I think they were I think they were leaning more positive, but we're upright, I should say. And then we have one more. There we go. So December 2024 for you, pile number two. So last month, we'll reveal your oracle cards first this time. From Ask Your Guides, you received 44, Limitation, Nature Spirits. I believe pile number one's got this too. Limitation from Nature Spirits. From Sacred Destiny, we have Wonders, beautiful. So your struggle for December 2024 is the Wheel of Fortune reversed, okay? So that might be something that seems like a bad turn of luck. Just hold on, don't click off the reading yet. We'll talk about it. Bad turn of luck is the struggle, okay? And then for the theme, we have the sun, happiness, and joy. We have the King of Swords, which is the mastery of communication and logic, especially the way that it is externally manifested. So the way we talk, the way we profess things, the way we think through things out with other people. And then we have the Tower, which is a time of pivotal change. So maybe that's kind of where that Wheel of Fortune is coming from. A lot of major arcana 
in this reading, which tells me it's kind of like a major event coming in December for you. And then your triumph is the Seven of Wands reversed, okay? That is overcoming things that seem against you, right? We have, I mean, oftentimes the traditional depiction of it is like someone with a bunch of swords being pitted against them and them having, or sorry, wands and having to defend themselves, okay? So that's overcoming having to, to defend yourself as your triumph. So I'm going to take just a tiny little break to take a drink as I've been talking a bit, and then I'll talk about your December 2024 pile number twos. Hmm. So pile number two is looking at December 2024. I want to say, I'll, I'll repeat it again, I think there's a pivotal moment coming in that month for you. I think there is a ma major moment of change, and on the surface... It looks like it's going to be a bad change. Just hear me out because your struggle is the Wheel of Fortune reversed. That's a bad turn of luck. And then we also have the Tower, which is a moment of massive change, like I was just saying, right? That's where this is stemming from. But the beautiful thing about this month for you is that you also have the Sun and the King of Swords next to it. And then your triumph is the Seven of Wands reversed. And you also have Wonders. And we'll talk about Limitation in a second here. I think the reason why this major change is coming in December 2024 is because it's leading you to somewhere better where you have less limitations, both on the way that you are, how much you're able to say things. So it could be like a getting away from a work environment that, you know, makes you stifle your communication and your ideas, right? It's also bringing you to some place that's happier with the sun, okay? That's a very, very positive card. So I know people look at the Wheel of Fortune reversed in the tower and they think, oh, I'm going to click off. It looks scary, right? But the reason this pivotal change is coming is because it's clearing out the old to make way for something better for you in December, okay? It's clearing out specifically limitations in your way. And that's why your triumph for December here is the Seven of Wands reversed because it's overcoming things being against you, things working against you. Wherever you're going after this pivotal moment of change, after what seems like a turn of bad luck, pile number two is, is somewhere where you don't feel like everyone is against you, where you're a lot happier and where you're able to express your skills in terms of intelligence and ideas a lot more with that King of Swords, okay? It's also bringing you to someplace better here with wonders. So, you know, I always kind of think of this card as like in an astronomical way. So we think of this as it's a nebula in space. And nebula, or I should say nebulae is the plural, in space are the, both the graveyard and the birthplace, the cradle of stars. Nebulae come from dead stars, but they also birth new ones. And that's what I really see as the tower in most readings is Yes, there is an end or a big change to something like, you know, a star going through supernova and becoming a nebula. But from that nebula, from whatever changes here, pile number two is going along with that metaphor, will bring wonders and new light and new stars and new things that are better for you, especially, like I said, I'll repeat it one last time, in terms of limitations in your life and things working against you. So do not be disheartened. It'll be okay. If something comes up in December that you're not quite ready for, that seems like a turn of bad luck, that seems like, oh god, something huge is coming, remember that you also got the sun, wonders, the king of swords, and the seven of wands here reversed. Okay. It's a big change, but it's clearing out the old to make way for things that are a lot better for you. Okay? So just remember that when that comes along. It's going to get better. Sometimes it just has to get a little bit worse, and then things turn in a more positive direction and that Wheel of Fortune will turn around because it always does. It's, you know, that card is not just about good luck or bad luck. It can also be about the turning of fate where, you know, what goes up must come down. And then in reverse pile number two, it's like in December, what goes down must come up again. So when that wheel turns down, just remember it always comes up again. There's always a dawn after the dark after the night. And that is your December 2024. 20, okay, just keep hoping that month pile number two is okay. So as always, I hope that reading was helpful for you. Like I said, bit of a new format. We tried four mini readings in one, just a glimpse at each month ahead for the rest of the year. If it did help you, if it resonated with you, please like, comment, and or subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. That just helps out the channel a little bit. So that helps me provide more readings for you and everyone else. And as always, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. And I hope to see you in the next reading with 
less raccoon fights. <laughs> All right, bye, pile number twos. Hello there, my awesome pile number threes. Welcome to your pick a card reading today for the rest of 2024. As you recall, the card used to pick your pile was the Enchanter with the element of air and the keywords deception and trickery. So, as always, we put our pile leader over here to the left next to the pine cone. And like I described in the intro, this reading is going to be like four mini readings in one, each focusing on, well, September, October, November, and December. So let's first talk about the rest of September for you, my lovely pile number three. So, spirit guide, spirit team for pile threes, could you give me five cards explaining more about the struggle, the triumph, and three cards for the theme of September for them? Thank you. Five. Unveiling September cards here from Sacred Destiny. We have Leadership, beautiful, the polar bear with, well, a bright star. Could be Polaris, technically. Not sure. Then we have from this Ask Your Guides Oracle, I believe it's called, we have, let's see, number 52, Retrieval, Runner Guides. Hmm. A lot of astronomical type themes here. Like we have this one with the star and planets, and then we have like a star in this one, and kind of a space theme. We'll talk about that in a second. And then let's see, from the tarot, you have your first card is the struggle of the rest of September. We have the king of swords, which is the mastery of the mind, the way we speak, the way we logically think. Maybe issues regarding an idea or a thing we have to kind of think through, right? Then the theme for September is the Page of Swords Reversed. Exploring mental things, something new that you're learning in terms of something that requires the strength of the mind. The Three of Swords Reversed, Overcoming Pain. Lots of swords this month for you, pile number three. So I don't know if you've been kind of mentally stressed out a lot. I'm kind of feeling that with you because of all these swords and in general with intuition. And then, oh, so we have another swords, okay. Ace of Swords Reversed is feeling like we lack ideas or we need more information on something. And then your triumph for September, we'll see if it's another swords, is, okay, so we do have wands. So we have at least one other suit card here. The five of wands is about, sometimes it can mean conflict in a negative way, but being in the triumph position, I would say it's more about the theme of healthy differences of opinion that help you brew new ideas, especially that having been part of your theme. So to summarize the rest of 2024, September, at least for you pile number threes. Your struggle this month, like I said, is the King of Swords. And tying that into your theme here, I believe... Well, number one, like I said, I'll just repeat it. Just to reiterate, because I said it while I was pulling the cards out. I think you've been having some mental stress lately because of the abundance of swords reversed. I don't know if you've been going through a really hard time at work or, you know, yeah, if it's not at work, it could be something in your family. It could be something in any area of your life where there's just been a lot of mental stress. The beauty, though, is that while that has been your struggle this month in terms of maybe thinking through an obstacle in your way or just being overly taxed in the mental realm, you have the Three of Swords reversed, which talks about overcoming pain. And next to it, we have the Ace of Swords reversed, which, like I said, means like a lack of new ideas. And then the Page of Swords reversed is, you know, uh, needing to explore more in this area. But being next to that Three of Swords reversed, it's like overcoming these issues. Does that kind of make sense, pile number three? So um, I think what is helping you get through that this month is if you haven't already come across it, because I know we're partway through September while I post this reading, is that Five of Wands. There's something about bouncing ideas off of other people as your triumph card here that is going to help you get through that lack of ideas or not knowing where to go with something and overcoming the pain with that Three of Swords reversed of what's been going on in your mental stress. So, you know, I think normally I would read this particular card, Leadership, as your advice card as like you be being like embodying more of like a leadership type value but i think for you intuitively i'm being told there's some leadership you need to turn to by the end of september here 
to help alleviate these problems, okay? To help alleviate your mental stress and to alleviate the lack of ideas you have about going forward. So whoever is a leader in the area that you've been struggling in your life this month, pile number threes, please go to them and bounce ideas off of them with that five of wands. It might even be someone who likes likes to debate. Maybe that's kind of why the five of wands came out. Sometimes it indicates someone who maybe is a bit argumentative or they like battling ideas off of each other. You know, for some of you, it could be a professor uh, or someone that's a teacher in some area, or it could be like a manager, depending on what area of your life this pertains to. But in general, there's something about and bringing in retrieval too. Retrieval is like retrieving something, grabbing something from somewhere or someone else. You need to look outside yourself for ideas for the rest of this month to overcome that struggle of thinking through something that maybe you've been struggling with, like I said, either with mental stress or you're just not sure where to go. And that will help fix your problems in this area this month, pile number threes, okay? turn to leadership in the area that you're struggling with. They will have the ideas and the help that you need to get through, okay? Don't be ashamed of asking for help. Don't be ashamed of, you know, feeling like you need to rely on them or anything because, you know, a lot of times when you do ask other people for help, especially if it's in their area of expertise, they love talking about it because that's something they're passionate about. And that's kind of where the five of wands comes in too is, is that, the wands means fire, which means someone who is passionate about something. So actually, you're probably doing them a favor by asking them for advice in this area because they are someone who wants to talk about the thing that they're passionate about, that you're curious about. So follow your curiosity, follow your questions to an expert somewhere where you've been struggling for the month of September 2024, and that will bring you to a place of overcoming the pain, like I said, with that three of swords reversed, okay? Look for healthy debate and healthy bouncing ideas off of other people for the rest of this month. So that is what they wanted to talk to you for September 2024. Let us move on to... Oh, I'm sorry, one more thing. I'm being told this intuitively. Before we move on to October, if there is a position open for you to also move into something with higher leadership potential heavily consider going into it, pile number three is okay. Maybe that's even where you're going to be asking advice for. I'm being intuitively told if there's something like that open, go for it, okay? Don't fear, don't hesitate, go for that leadership. Or even taking a leadership role in something, even if it's not like a technical job title. Could be even like leadership in a friend group or leading your family in some way. But either way, look for opportunities like that. Okay, now October 2024. Sorry, I got a little bit sidetracked there because I was like, oh, an intuitive thing came in. So let us move to October. We'll shuffle your cards again. There's your oracles. So spirit team, four pile threes, October 2024. Same thing. Thank you. Five cards. Let's unveil your October cards, pile three. So from the Sacred Destiny Oracle, you received Thriving. Well, that's always good to get, right? Some giraffes on the savannah. Beautiful. Thriving. From the Ask Your Guides Oracle, you received number six, Caution, Guardian Angel. Caution. So we'll see what that means. That probably has to do with the tarot cards that'll pop up. Your struggle for October 2024 is the Ace of Wands reversed, okay? Maybe lacking some inspiration in areas of creativity. Maybe you are a creative person and you might find some, I don't know, let's see, like writer's block or artist's block, I think is what they call it for people who are, you know, like painters, you know, or they have other creative mediums that they make, right? Talk about that a bit more. Then your theme for October is the Nine of Swords, mental anguish and anxiety in some area, okay? I have the Three of Pentacles, which is all about teamwork. We have the Seven of Swords reversed, which is uh, revealing deception or trickery in some area. And your triumph for October 2024 is the Page of Cups reversed, okay? Something to do with exploring your emotions more in some area. Being an apprentice of some sort of relationship or feeling. 
I know that sounds vague, but we'll talk about it in a more concrete way in a second. I'm just going to take a short little break to take a drink. Apologies for a moment of silence. So, October for 2024. I see a theme here of you... How best to put it, pile number threes. There's some area of your life in October 2024 where you... Hear me out and don't click off the reading the moment I say something negative because I see the statistics. I know when people click off readings and it's usually when I say something negative. So just hear me out before you click somewhere else. Just hear me out. There's some area of your life in October here where you fear that someone will have deceived you in terms of teamwork. Could be something at work. That's usually what Pentacles means is the material world around us, finance and career. And it's something that's going to cause you anxiety in the month of October. Okay, I think it's because either someone else tells you something that misleads you into thinking that they betrayed you or there's something tricky going on. Or you think you saw something and you're like, oh no, what is that? And that's going to cause some hesitation for you to work with this person in October 2024. That's where I think the caution card comes in. You're kind of like, okay, wait a minute, hold the brakes. Do I know who this person is? Are they really deceiving me? And I think that's why your struggle for this month is the Ace of Wands reversed because that's about lacking inspiration in an area of creativity. So I don't know if you collaborate with this person a lot in terms of creative projects or new ideas that involve your passions, especially being Wands, right? But, or it could mean, you know, maybe you're so bummed that, it kind of creates a sort of creative block in you in October 2024. However, I do see because of the Seven of Swords reversed being like deception revealed and also the Triumph being the Page of Cups reversed, which like I said is about overcoming, you know, learning new things in relationships and thriving. I think things are going to turn out just fine for you with this area of your life in October 2024, Pile 3. So if you do come across that where it's someone you work with and it causes you a lot of anxiety and you think that they've betrayed you or they're tricking you and it's causing some issues in regards of your inspiration and your passions, okay, hold the brakes. That's also a meaning of caution here. Not just, yes, you're going to be hesitant to work with them because you think they're betraying you, right? But it's also caution about jumping to conclusions. Hear things out a little bit more. Try to source where you heard information on what this person is being accused of. Bide your time and explore a little bit more of your emotions surrounding this person. Okay, you know, are they actually adding to what you're working on with them? And I think you'll find that with thriving here, you'll realize, okay, well, wait a minute, things are going just fine. Maybe I just got some bad information and, and, and maybe, you know, someone else is trying to sabotage the person I'm working with or just be cautious in October 2024 about jumping to conclusions about people that you're working with. This is the main thing they want to tell you for that month, you know, and that's why your triumph, like I said, is that page of cups reversed. It's okay. I've come to a time of learning in a relationship and with feelings I have and I'm going to overcome a struggle in this area, in this relationship, and things are going to be just fine. They're going to be thriving. Mm -hmm. And I think, too, you'll overcome that creative block once that anxiety is kind of released. And maybe in general, you do suffer from anxiety, not just because of this situation, pile number threes, but maybe this, you know, you know, having like anxiety disorder, for example, like, you know, I struggle with that sometimes myself, so 100% get it. But, you know, um, it could also mean that it's a reveal of the way that you self-deceive yourself with anxiety sometimes here in the month of October and being cautious before you jump to conclusions about things that you're worried about. Because I think that's, you know, sometimes at least my own anxiety, it works that way where it's like you jump to a conclusion, you're like, oh no, it's going to go bad. Oh no, it's going to suck. You know, maybe it, related to a, a creative project that maybe you're presenting to people and you're like, oh no, it's going to be terrible. They're going to hate it. But just calm down and remember that this month's theme, too, is thriving and being cautious about going forward too fast on things, okay? Don't let your anxiety run rampant and remember that I do see luck for you in the future with October 2024 with thriving, like I said. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, yeah, that page of cups reversed. Overcoming emotional things that you're learning, okay? 
overcoming maybe a big step in if you do deal with like anxiety or like I said, if you do have a little bit of a, a false alarm with a friend or someone you're working with in October 2024, just wait to jump to conclusions. All right, well, let's move on to November 2024, my lovely pile number threes. Like I said, these readings go pretty fast. They're like four mini readings in one. I thought it'd be a fun format to try. So we have, yes, November and shuffling your cards. Five cards, please, for November 2024. Thank you. Oh boy, that's a lot of cards. I can't take that many. <laughs> oh boy. We will do that again. Spirit, please. Slower. Thank you. So there's one. And five. So November of 2024, we have Sacred Destiny. Focus. With, looks like a snow leopard. Maybe a little bit more nose to the grindstone in November. We'll see. And then from the Ask Your Guides, you have 54, Freedom from Runner Guides. Freedom with Runner Guides. And then your struggle for November is the Hierophant. Okay, tradition, things being passed down the way things have always been done. Sometimes it can also mean institutions of power. And then your theme for November is the Fool, another major arcana. Fool is about new beginnings, starting new journeys. We have the Three of Wands reversed, feeling like we can't take action on plans. And then the third for the theme is the Two of Pentacles, balancing finances or just juggling different things in your life. And then for your Triumph of November, we have the Ace of Coins reversed, a new opportunity in some area, okay? So pile three is for November 2024. The overall theme is about new adventures or a new journey regarding plans you've made for the future and balancing your finances in order to achieve that. Now, I think part of your struggle with that month, because of the Hierophant being the struggle card, there's something about like either an institution that governs over you or controls something with your finances or controls your ability to move forward with your plans that it might kind of get in your way in November. You want to start that new journey. You're like, you're the fool here. You're like, I'm ready for my new journey and my new adventure. I have the knapsack. I, I've already packed up and I'm ready to go, but er, things kind of come to a little bit of a stop because you have that three of wands reversed and you're like, okay, I can't move up that ladder. I gotta wait because there's something that's a pain in my butt getting in the way. That's just how I'll just, <laughs> that's just how I'll put it. Pile number three is okay. And it's something to do with balancing finances. So I don't know if you've been, like, you'll need money to kind of get forward with this. And it's just like waiting for the money to come through for something, maybe like a bank transfer or a loan, something in that area. But that's kind of what's blocking you. And I think it could even be a bank is the institution that's blocking you with this energy. But the beauty is, is... Your triumph is the ace of coins reversed. That tells me that if you've had struggles in the past, or excuse me, in the past with financial opportunities being offered to you, that's your triumph in the month of November is overcoming that. Okay, the opportunity is being handed to you and it also is something that offers you freedom here, like we have from your Ask Your Guides Oracle card you received for this month. You're being let out of the cage of whatever this struggle is here of you know, you want to start a new journey, you want to get going with your plan, something gets in your way, that month is the cage door is going to open and that opportunity will be offered to you. The only thing really required from you, Pile 3, is, is I see here with the Sacred Destiny with focus with the Snow Leopard. Keep focused on your plans. Keep focused on your ideas, okay? Don't let a little bit of a setback from an institution or the way... Th it could also be, like, the Hierophant is the way that things have always been done. Maybe you you fear going forward or other people are trying to naysay you because they're like, well, people don't do it that way or, you know, society doesn't do something that way. Ignore the naysayers. Just say, screw it. I'm going to do it my way. This is my plan. I've planned for this. I am ready. I want to be let out of this cage. Whatever that idea is for you, Pile Threes. And keep focused on the path ahead. Keep going. Keep believing in your path in November 2024. Because like I said, that triumph is opportunity in this area. 
once you get over the obstacle of the cage of the institution or like the traditions that are kind of holding you back in this month, okay? All right, so that is November, and now we're going to talk about December real quick here. The last mini reading of the day. So there's your oracle cards, and let's shuffle your tarot cards. So spirit team of pile three, same thing, the five cards explaining December 2024 for them. Thank you. Oh boy, that's a lot of cards. Is that exactly five? That's four. So we'll take those because they did fall out. Usually if it's like a small amount of cards and they fall out, I take them. So if it's like half the deck, then I don't. But we do need one final card, so we'll pull that one. And let's unveil the oracle cards. So Sacred Destiny for December is adventures. Okay, so maybe you do finally get off on that adventure, like I was saying, that plan for the future. I don't know if you plan on moving or traveling somewhere in December. We'll see what else pops out before I say for sure. And then the Ask Your Guides Oracle 28 is New Life Teacher Guides. So, you know, and I'll be cautious as I say this because not all of, all of us are looking for having children. But if you've been looking to uh, get pregnant or your partner to get pregnant, December might be a really good month for that. So just keep an eye out for that. Or maybe you have a baby coming along the way, either in, you know, your immediate family or extended family. Good month for that. So then let's look at your... Let's see, the first card is your struggle. So the hermit is your struggle in the month of December. That's about isolation, you know, going a little bit too much into ourselves in terms of isolating from others. Then your theme is the queen of wands reversed, lacking confidence in self. The five of cups reversed, overcoming grief. And the justice card is kind of what it says on the tin. Justice in some area, fairness. And your triumph for the month of December is beautiful. The world, which is the end of a cycle, the closing of a door on a journey. Yeah, so pile number three. So, you know, we talked about a new adventure in November with that full card that came out just the month before this one, right? And things kind of got in your way. And I just told you, like, keep going. Don't let institutions get in your way. Keep your focus. Well, I see with the month of December, especially with your triumph being the world, is the closing of one chapter and the start of another, especially with new life, like I said, that can technically mean pregnancy if you're looking to add a baby to your life. If not, then just disregard that part. It's a general reading. Not everything will resonate with everybody watching this, but yes, it's a good time for new adventures taking off, new life taking off, and ending the prior chapter of your life. It's like turning a new page in a book. So the theme overall, though, for December is, let's see, yeah, lacking confidence, overcoming grief and justice. You know, I think, sorry, I'm going to pause for just one second. Hmm. So pile threes, I think part of this is, is extending a little bit from November that struggle you had with what was blocking you for your plans for the future might knock your confidence a little bit leading into December. Okay. Um, I know I told you, you know, just keep your focus in November, but I think there's still a little bit of that lingering into December because you have the Queen of Wands reversed, which is lacking internal confidence about your passions. However, you do have right after that the Five of Cups reversed, which is overcoming grief and justice. So it's like, I see that as justice to yourself, Pile Threes. I see that as you realizing it's fair to myself to give energy and chances for my dreams to grow. And two, if you've been finding that there's been a lot of bad luck recently with the months beforehand. I know this, these being many readings, we didn't cover absolutely everything. It's kind of just a general overview of each month, but... If you find that having been happening in these months ahead, December is a really, really good month for overcoming times of bad luck and that wheel of karma turning around, especially with justice next to the five of cups reversed. So I really see December as a great month for you. I mean, the only struggle is, like I said, the hermit. And that to me tells me you might struggle a little bit with isolating yourself somewhat in December, maybe because of this lack of confidence with that queen of wands. But in general, I think you'll overcome that in the month of December because you have the triumph being the world. Like I said, that's closing one page or one chapter of a book and opening another and adventures and new life. It's a really, really good time to 
fully embark on the journey that you've been maybe planning since November or maybe even earlier of this year, but you know, your November reading did kind of focus on it. So that's why I say November specifically, you know, and yeah, being fair to yourself, overcoming times of sadness. And, you know, you might not be fully confident yet in December. I think that's why that Queen of Wands reversed came out. You'll have to work on the confidence a little bit perhaps in this area, but I do see a final tangible step over the threshold or the opening and crossing over that door into whatever it is you were planning in the month of November in the month of December, okay? Be that, you know, bring new, literal new life into your family if you've been looking for a child. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, if you're moving somewhere or traveling or maybe part of your career or something that you're moving to involves traveling, right? That's also a really good sign for the month of December. Um, but yeah, the world is, as a triumph, is just a really, really good curtain close, getting ready for the next step, getting ready for a new journey in your life. So, you know, even leaning into January a little bit of 2025, you know, I think that's where you're really going to start fully embarking on journeys, okay? It's just that December is a little bit of the emotional and mental processing of the struggles of November before you get to that point of, okay, now I'm ready for new life, this new adventure, um, like that journey that the fool hearken to back in the November reading for you, okay? So that is what I will leave you with, my lovely pile number threes. As always, I hope that reading was helpful for you. I hope you liked, like, the four little mini readings set up in one whole reading. I thought it was kind of fun to try that, especially just, you know, going month by month. If you liked it, if it resonated with you, please like, comment, and or subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. That just helps out the channel, which helps me provide more readings for you and everyone else watching. And as always, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you in the next reading pile, number three. Bye.